dun 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 tonight in Mr. Smacker Puss Kitchen. Y'all know it's the quarantine. Y'all know we on lockdown and we gotta improvise and we gotta stretch out every dollar in our meal. Now I went to the grocery store and I grabbed a whole cake for $7 and put in a damn tray. Then as I was shopping and walking around, I went down to seasoning now. Then I looked to the right and I seen the boxes of cake for $2 for like $1.89. I was like, shit, let me grab a box of cake and I'm going to bake my own cake. And I'm going to make my own cake and save me a couple of dollars. So I ended up buying me some cake and icing, which added up to like $3.89. Damn, the damn icing was like $2.00. And I came home and baked me one of these Strawberry Delights, moist, strawberry Dunkin'. This is a Betty Crocker all the way to the docker. And I spiced the ingredients up like my grandmama taught me to. I didn't never follow. I don't follow directions. I put the, the ingredients that I know supposed to go in there and I let it be. So what I did was the ingredients on this stuff calls for water, vegetable oil, and three eggs. I was like, you know what? That is too much. So what I did was I put some milk instead of the water. Then I turned around. Instead of the vegetable oil, I put butter. I melted down a half a cup of butter and spiced off in that thing. Then I put down them three eggs and um, I removed the... um. I just put the yolks in there. Put the yolks in there real good. I didn't take I didn't put all the other stuff in there that much. And stirred it up real good with my hand. Didn't use no stirrer, no machine, no no bat no no batterer. I stirred it up with my hands for about 10 minutes. <laughs> Make sure I got all the clunks and lumps about that motherfucker. Then I dropped it in the damn oven. Bakery at I said pre-bake the oven at around, I think it was 375. And I let it bake for about 24 minutes. And that thing came out so fluffy and juicy and moist. I swear to God. And then I turned around. I put this cream cheese icing on it. Mm. This Duncan Hines cream cheese. That's why I kept saying Duncan Hines. Because I got Duncan Hines icing with a Betty Crocker cake. But you know what? The cream cheese is the creamy cheese. The cream cheese, creamy cheese, like this is that 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 luxury stuff. This is what the white folks use. No high glucose corn syrup in it, and and it's only 140 milligrams of calories per teaspoon, tablespoon. Oh, a damn, per tablespoon. You know how many tablespoons I used in this? Oh my God. Well, anyways, this this is gonna be enriched and enriched. With the best shit, because I just spiced this thing down, and I got some deniers, some deniers, some dryers. This is dryers, uh, vanilla ice cream. So we're going to make some, we're going to eat some cake and ice cream tonight. You know, they say, you don't supposed to, everybody say, man, get his cake and eat his ice cream, too. You damn right. This is a prime example right here, because you only live, you know, some people say, the dumb people say, you only live once. You might as well make the best of it. No, nigga. You live every day. You only die once. See, this is why I'm so healthy and why I got a zero body fat metabolism, right? Because really on the on the outside, on the, I don't put too much on the inside, so it don't reflect on my outside. So because I haven't had no sweets or no cakes or nothing like that in about three, four months, I'm entitled to eat this whole cake. And, and, and I'll be good. Like, it ain't going to hurt me like it will hurt you. Like, you know, some of y'all turn around and eat half of this cake and gain about 15 pounds just off half of the damn cake. But me, myself, I can eat this whole cake tonight. And I swear, go to sleep and shit that motherfucker out in the morning. But it ain't for me. This is for y'all. I like to tell people, man, you know, like I say, we live every day. We only die once. Sometimes in life, you got to treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. And, you know, I'm treating myself because this cake is like a fraction of the cost of the other cake that I was finna pay a little bit more for. And the ingredients inside of that cake 
was a little bit unhealthy for me. It had all kind of probably corn syrup and all kind of stuff. And mine is a little more healthy because I made it by hand. I put some vitamin. I put some organic milk in it. I put some some real um, real brown eggs in it. And um, I spiced it up a little more baking powder in it. I wanted it to come up a little bit fluffier. So I spiced it with a little baking powder. You know, mine is a little more enriched. Then I dropped a secret recipe that my mama told me to put in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I dropped a pack of Jello in that motherfucker. Like, and mix that up with it. Oh, man. Bam. So, when we cut this motherfucker open, I want to see how moist and juicy it come out. Because with the Jello, it's supposed to make it real moisty and juicy. Have you ever put Jello inside of your cake mix? Like, yeah. Get, this is the trick to my... I'm not just, you know, be, you know, breaking it, but I'm not giving, I shouldn't have even said that. I just gave my secret recipe away to my cake, but yeah, this is a, this is a jello infused cake and strawberry cake. I got, I got strawberry jello in it, strawberry cake mix, and I put some milk instead of the water. Mm -hmm. I put a half a cup of butter instead of half a cup of, um, vegetable oil. That's what it called on the box. And mine came out fluffier, juicier, magnificent. Oh, yeah. Oh, magnificent. And I didn't put too much of the, the, the white stuff in the egg. I just put the yolk and just a little bit of the other stuff in there. I stirred it up real good. Battered it for about 10 minutes. <laughs> Man, that was hard. That was the hardest part of that. You know, I just want to know what it really looked like, like layer for layer, like. You know, because I worked hard for this damn cake. You know what I'm talking about? You know how, like, you can slave over something in the kitchen, and then when it's your turn to eat it, you be, like, fooling and shit? Like, I worked hard for this motherfucker. I did. Like, Question, is that something that's supposed to be on there? All right, we're gonna go on and cut this. Where's my copper chef's knife? You see this? I got a copper chef skillet and a copper chef knife. So, I made this cake to indulge on. Oh, wow! Wow. Wow, I ain't never had a cake that damn soft to cut. Wow, did you see how the knife just glid off in there? Now that was soft. Oh, that was soft. That was like super soft. I ain't never had a cake that damn soft. I swear, I look at this. I'm barely, barely, and it's cutting straight through slice, slice, straight through. Look, damn, I'm scared of this cake. Oh my god. Alright, filet of filet. It's gotta be filet of filet, right? Because I'm eating ice cream with this cake. I'm gonna put the cake right there and the ice cream gonna go right there in the bowl. Happy birthday to the quarantine. No, we're going to sing happy birthday to coronavirus. Happy birthday to coronavirus. Happy birthday to the coronavirus. Happy birthday to the coronavirus. Happy birthday to the coronavirus. Okay. How old are you? About six months. 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 Because you came out around October. Yeah. November last year. Like, all right, so we're going to go on it. Government done made an agreement. Help these people out. We're going to go on and scoop this up like this. Oh, wow. I don't want to touch it on the top because I really want to get a perfect good picture. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm. 
my God. I am a baker. Look at there. Look how pretty the layers are. Do you see this, ladies? Do you see this? The layers are, in fact, insaturated.